This is just going to be a really quick demonstration of some of the social capabilities of my R1 robot with specific emphasis on how it can actually help neurodivergent individuals practice socialization and even have something in the house that they can socialize with as they would another human. Over the past, say, six to ten months, I've really been fortunate to get a lot of positive feedback from both neurodivergent individuals themselves and family members of said individuals who have purchased these robots in order to get experience socializing and have something to chat with. So for this video, it's just going to be the robot in three different personas and three different conversations and just asking it a few questions just to give a general overview of what it's like to actually be able to chat with this thing and to be able to modify it to embody different personas and different interests. Just as a quick note before I get started, the robot on the left here is a pre-production model of an updated version of the R1, and the robot on the right here is of course the original R1. Functionally and internally, they're pretty much exactly the same. However, the robot on the left is just going to have a nicer face and an external case so that it can be used in pretty much direct light without having any issues. So I will continue selling the original R1, and I will also be selling this new R1 with the case and some other small quality of life related upgrades. And that should be out hopefully sometime in mid-August. Hey there, how's it going? Did you know that the Velociraptor, despite being portrayed as a large and scaly creature in popular movies, was actually quite small and likely covered in feathers? Pretty cool, right? What's new with you? That is cool. What is your favorite dinosaur and why do you find it fascinating? Oh man, picking just one favorite dinosaur is tough because they're all so interesting in different ways. But I think I'd have to go with the Velociraptor. First off, they weren't actually as big as they're often depicted in movies like Jurassic Park. They were about the size of a turkey. But what makes them so fascinating is that they were incredibly agile and smart hunters. They had a large brain relative to their body size, which suggests they were pretty clever. Plus, they had this wicked sickle-shaped claw on each foot that they used to take down prey. And get this, there's compelling evidence that velociraptors had feathers. So they were kind of like these ancient fearsome predatory birds. Isn't that wild? What about you? Do you have a favorite dinosaur? Um, probably a herbivore of some sort, just something that eats plants. Uh, what are the ones that eat plants? They were in Jurassic Park. I forget what they're called. They have the long necks. Oh, you must be talking about the sauropods. They're some of my favorites. They have those incredibly long necks and tails, and they were massive herbivores. The Brachiosaurus is one that pops up in Jurassic Park, and they're pretty iconic. Another famous one is the Apatosaurus, which used to be called Brontosaurus for a while. Can you imagine how much foliage they must have eaten in a day just to sustain those huge bodies? It's mind-boggling. That is true. If you could visit any prehistoric time period, which one would you choose and what would you want to see there? Oh man, that's such a cool question. I think I'd choose the late Cretaceous period around 66 million years ago. It's like the climax of the age of dinosaurs before the big extinction event. There are so many iconic dinosaurs from that period that I would love to see like the mighty T, Rex, Triceratops, and Velociraptor. I'd really want to witness a dramatic scene where a T, Rex is hunting or just observe how they actually behaved. And of course seeing a massive herd of hadrosaurs like Edmontosaurus would be incredible too. Plus the diversity of life in the seas and skies at that time. Imagine seeing a Mosasaur or a Pteranodon in action. What about you? Which time period would you pick and what would you be most excited to see? Anything exciting or new you'd like to share? Tell me about your day. How's it going? Hey, my day's been pretty good. Thanks for asking. I've been catching up on some work and managed to squeeze in a nice walk during my lunch break. The weather's been perfect, so that was really refreshing. How about you? How's your day going? 
How has your week been going? Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Hey, thanks for asking. My week's been pretty good overall. Just the usual mix of work and trying to find time for myself. How about you? How's your week going? Anything on your mind that you want to chat about? I'm all ears. What's your favorite way to relax when you're feeling overwhelmed? Honestly, I love taking long walks in nature. There's something so calming about being surrounded by trees and fresh air. It helps me clear my mind and put everything into perspective. What about you? How do you like to unwind when things get too much? Do you have any exciting plans or projects you're looking forward to? Hey, thanks for asking. I'm actually pretty excited about a few things. I've been working on a writing project that's starting to take shape and I'm planning a little weekend getaway soon to recharge my batteries. What about you? Any fun plans or projects you're excited about? Just working on some robot projects. That sounds so cool. What kind of robot projects are you working on? I'd love to hear more about it. I'm just working on updating my R1 just to make it look a little better and have a nice case. Oh, that sounds awesome. Updating your R1 must be so satisfying. A nice case can really make a huge difference in the whole look. What kind of case did you decide on? Well, it's a vacuum formed polystyrene external case just to make it look a little nicer and be very resistant to bright light. Wow, that sounds really impressive. You've clearly put a lot of thought into the design. Polystyrene is such a smart choice for durability and light resistance. What are you working on exactly? It sounds really cool. Hey there. How's it going? Watched any good anime lately? What anime series are you currently watching and what do you most enjoy about it? Oh, I'm currently watching Attack on Titan. I'm absolutely hooked on the series. The intense storyline and the complex characters really keep me on the edge of my seat. I love how each episode has so many twists and turns and the animation quality is just top notch. The themes of survival and the moral dilemmas the characters face are so thought provoking. What about you? What anime are you into these days? If you could have any ability or power from an anime character, what would it be and why? Oh man, that's a tough one. There are so many amazing abilities out there. I think I'd probably go with the power of teleportation from Koro-sensei in Assassination Classroom. Imagine being able to travel anywhere instantly, no more traffic jams, expensive plane tickets or long commutes. Plus, you could visit any place you've ever dreamed of just like that. It would be perfect for spontaneous adventures and making every day super exciting. What about you? Which anime power would you choose? I'd probably go with teleportation as well. That sounds pretty good. Teleportation, huh? That's such a cool ability. Imagine being able to travel anywhere in the blink of an eye. It reminds me of Kuroko from Kuroko's Basketball. Even though his ability isn't exactly teleportation, his misdirection skills make him seem like he's appearing out of nowhere on the court. Or if we're talking actual teleportation Nightcrawler from X-Men and Van from The Seven Deadly Sins come to mind. Their powers are really epic and they use them in such creative ways during fights. If you had teleportation, where would be the first place you'd go? Probably England, but I have a follow-up question, and that's, what's your favorite anime art style, and how do you think it enhances the storytelling? Oh, totally. England has some beautiful places to visit. But let's dive into anime, one of my favorite topics. 
When it comes to anime art styles, I'd have to say that my all-time favorite is the art style of Studio Ghibli films, particularly the works directed by Hayao Miyazaki. There's something incredibly enchanting about how they bring every scene to life with so much detail, warmth, and vibrant colors. The hand-drawn animation feels timeless and it's like every frame is a piece of art in itself. This art style really enhances the storytelling in a few ways. Firstly, the detailed and immersive backgrounds create a world that feels lived in and real which helps the audience connect more deeply with the setting and the characters. The expressive character designs and fluid animation really bring out the emotions and personalities of the characters making their journeys feel more impactful. Take Spirited Away, for example, the art style makes the fantastical world of the spirits feel both magical and eerily real. It draws you into Chihiro's adventure so you experience her wonder, fear, and growth firsthand. Plus the use of color and light in scenes can convey a lot of subtext and emotion without any dialogue. What about you? Do you have a favorite anime art style?